What's going on guys, Jedi270 here from AirsoftRx.com and TX911Gear.com and what we're looking at here is my new mask. This is a full coverage Cactus Hobby Knights Templar mask in the green. Give you a little rundown on the Knights Templar. Uh, first of all, this mask does not come with the gold accents on the cross. Uh, the Knights Templar in the 1100s uh, they were the protectors of the Holy Grail. They were the protectors of King Solomon's temple and were considered the poor fellow soldiers of Christ. And they fought gallantly for the king and crown and for the pope. And then after that pope stepped down, Pope Clements came in with King Philip and he declared the Knights Templar to be heresy and disbanded them and called them the enemy of the cloth. They traveled to Ireland where they settled and about 150,000 Knights Templar at the time. And the king and Pope Clement decided that they would, uh, this is the, what I'm getting from my son as well as Wikipedia, okay, so bear with me, decided that they would off them. So they traveled to Ireland, the Emerald Isle, and only a handful were allowed to live and return to the king. From that point on, they were left alone. They eventually disbanded and melded into what we now know as the Freemasons. Um, and they carried uh, the battle cry of Sua Sponti, which is also a ranger creed. In the King Philip's War was the first organized war where organized rangers fought. And they were made up of former Knights Templar. And later on, as history knows, we have the U.S. Army Rangers. Whoop, sua sponte, which is Latin for of their own accord. Uh, these guys fought valiantly and believed wholeheartedly in their God and their nation. And uh, they were outcasted and they were vicious. So this is the Cactus Hobby Knights Templar. Um, I did the gold accents on the cross because... I'm sorry, I don't know what God you believe in, but I'm Christian, and I believe that that cross needs to be gold. And it was a prominent figure that the Templars fought for, so therefore a Templar would have that emblazoned boldly as he went into battle. This thing is made out of uh, fiberglass. It is molded. Uh, I'd say it weighs probably a, about a pound and a half. It's not light, but it's not super heavy either. Um, it has what they call a spider straps on the back of it. Right here, you've got five. It's very comfortable, and you have this huge piece right here of um, fiberglass that is padded on the back. You have Trico mesh all throughout, heavy padding on this piece, especially on the ear caps, the forehead. Uh, some people on Evic complained that there was no uh, padding here and that their nose would come into it. Um, but I don't have that problem, and I have a rather large size head. It covers me perfectly. Um, this thing is supposedly rated at the factory to take 500 FPS at point blank range. So it is a very, very sturdy, sturdy mask. You have quick release buckles, or you can just slip it off over your head however you see fit. But Cactus Hobby. And Evic, very smartly, by the way, point out that you should always wear safety glasses underneath this mesh. And for the reason being, there are a lot of people on the field nowadays, they either use crappy BBs or they use uh, biodegradable. Biodegradable BBs are just not as strong as the regular uh, thermoplastic um, BBs are. So what could happen is they hit this mesh, disintegrate, and then the particles go into your eye and we don't want that to happen do we <clears throat> it takes away from the whole point of having a airsoft mask to protect you but on evic right now this mask runs 89.99 uh, plus shipping it comes with the green mesh or you can order it with the blue mesh or you can order it with gold mesh but either way you go sorry i have my finger in the shot there Either way you go, when you get it, this will be silver like the rest of the mask. Um, what I did there was I took a paint pen, that, so I had total control not to cover up any of the scars or scratches, 
and then I did it in an antique gold, which is a color for that paint pen. Very nice medium, and it took me all of about five minutes to do, and I think it sets it off completely, and I just love it. I absolutely love it. This, um, I can see better out of this than I can a JT paintball mask because we all know JT paintball masks, even save face, I don't care what they say, will fog. I've used them. They will fog up. This one will not fog up because you're wearing safety glasses underneath, and if they're off of your face, they won't fog up on you, and you can see perfect out of it. It's absolutely awesome. Let's get up underneath here and uh, see if you can see you can see there let's get that camera up in the eye hole so actually it doesn't really do it justice but you can see through that mesh you can if you can see that much through this mesh on a camera you're going to be able to see that much or more through the mesh when you're wearing it so there you have it guys the cactus hobby knights templar mask available in green blue or gold and of course this one has its accents here and I'm trying to decide whether or not this green will go a soulless black. You guys let me know what you think. So that being said, head on over to evic.com and pick one up. Um, I'm going to talk to Donald about this this week and see if we can pick these up for RX and TX911 gear. We do have Safe Face over there. And um, so maybe we can get this too. We'll find out. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Comment. Have a good one.